Alrighty, guys, welcome back to another episode here of the Top 5 Seed Series. Today, ladies and gentlemen, this is probably my first video in 1.19.3. So, if you didn't already guess, this video was recorded in 1.19.3. We are in the Java edition of the game. I'm a little bit buggy with the mods I'm using right now to record the video because of, you know, shaders and whatnot. But hopefully by next episode, things stabilize out a little bit. Now, uh, if you guys don't know how this works, the junk base link will be in the description below low but eh, er, well the seed will be posted on the screen but the chunk base link will be in the description below so if you are looking for more details in the seeds you guys are wondering what's going on you guys can click the link take a look at the map for yourselves all of them are real i don't know why i still get those comments anyway guys let's get into seed number one Alrighty guys, coming in at Z number one, we have this beautiful spawn point. Now you may be asking yourself, Justin, why? What 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 made this seed stand out to you? Well, I'm here to tell you that. Take a look at your spawn point. First of all, you have I, I kind of consider this a, a beginner's seed. You're gonna have this area right here that has you know, a very small, tranquil mountain range to it. Nothing too crazy. You know, you got a couple beginner mountain ranges, but just take a look around and tell me what you see. Because you're going to notice a mountain range with some taiga trees, a nice little taiga biome. And then you're going to notice, you know, this beautiful little, uh, what is this, forest biome. And then you're going to notice a, well, well, what's this? What's this right here? This is a... What are these things called? A birch forest, and then you have a roofed forest, or a dark oak forest, and then you have a mega taiga, and then you have a snowy plains, and then, no snowy plains, you have a snowy taiga, and then you have a village on the other end of this seed. Can, can you see the excitement in that? The biomes that you get right off the bat, the terrain generation that you get right off the bat. Like, look at this, it looks so cool. So there, there's why this seed stuck out to me. You have so many little micro biomes right off the bat and if you're a new player and you want to get into the game you have some pretty interesting generation it's just kind of all around the best starter seed if you're getting into minecraft for the first time here in 1.19.3 so that does that answer your question wow my frame rate's weird Now, I know what you guys must be thinking. You guys just noticed that I spawned in a roofed forest, and you're like, oh, here we go. There's going to be a woodland mansion, another YouTuber showing woodland mansions. Well, wrong. I'm not going to show you that because there's not one here. So good try. Good try guessing what I was going to show you, but I will show you this mountain range. Now, seed number two, it comes in with this beautiful mountain range right it has this awesome kind of stony peak effect to it and then you are gonna have this really cool meadow in the middle so this could actually be where your little house is and just imagine imagine coming out every day to this and it has pretty interesting caves right off the bat so you could have like an underground cellar dungeon thing i don't know you do you this is really your world not mine frame rate like and then over here we're gonna have another little uh kind of kind of little i guess blue ice uh icy peaks is that what that's called with of a fairly good sized village actually now it's nothing crazy it's nothing overly game changing but you guys know villages are the most important thing to find because of the food they bring so you're gonna get hay bales you're gonna get a farm you're gonna get what you need to start now we do actually have to head back to the little meadow over here because i want to go down to the third feature of this seed if we go straight down kind of right here past these beautiful snow foxes what I didn't know these existed. I need these in my life forever now. When were these added to the game? Oh my god, I need to get one of these. But if we dig straight down, we're gonna find ourselves the best Minecraft update has ever been released. You're gonna find the beautiful, uh, very useful uh, ancient cities down here. Make it a portal and I'll like it more. But there is actually another one. I'm not gonna show you guys it, but there is another one very close by so you can go explore and find that in your own world but take my word for it or check the junk base link if you want if you don't believe me go ahead and click it all the proofs in the pudding down below now i cleared my voice and started that clip welcome okay scene number three i mean do i really have to go into detail do i really have to tell you why this seed 
is an interesting seed, fine. I will anyway. You're gonna spawn into a roof forest to get into a woodland mansion because I'm not I'm not doing that this video. That could be next video. No one really knows. But you're gonna have to spawn in next to this beautiful uh what is this thing called? I, I guess it's a, a, a an icy peak biome. Yeah, we're gonna go with icy peak biome. Now what's really cool is there's not just one of these nearby. If we just give ourselves a little bit of a fly around, you're gonna notice a much smaller type of uh, mountain here, but there is some cool features. Let's fly around a little bit because I'm actually looking for something over on my other screen. There is, well, I'm gonna spoil it, village number one, right on the outside of your mountain range. Now, say you need to go for a little bit of a walk and you feel you feel dangerous. So you're gonna travel up this mountain with frame rate lag and then you're gonna travel back down the mountain because you wanted to do things the hard way. You're gonna find village number two, which is actually way more impressive than village number one because it's much bigger much bigger houses means much bigger loot and much bigger feet mean much bigger shoes so and then over here <laughs> i'm recording this at 4 a.m you can't judge me you're gonna have this really really cool open open cave why did i say that shoe thing i'm so questioning myself but you have this really cool open cave that even has a tree in it so you could have a really cool base in here actually i wouldn't mind living in here myself you even get like moss down here this is really cool i really like this seed actually go ahead take a look for yourself Like, I, I hope you understand how much I'm actually questioning that shoe thing. And why am I recording this so late at night? I don't know. I... <laughs> All right. Let's let's move on. Coming in at seed number four, one of my favorite seeds in this whole video. And you may be like, why? Well, let me tell you. <laughs> This is such a basic conversation to be having. Why? Of course you're asking why. You spawn into this kind of really cool small island. Now, obviously, there is land next door, but you do have this kind of unique small island, and the way I'm pointing it out is actually quite important because if we go over here, you're going to notice this is another individual island. Now, let's say you're using this as a single-player world. This seed will have uh, quite an interesting spawn point. You have what one two three four different biomes right off the bat with the icebergs and everything and then you have this stony shores biome but let's say you have friends you have more than what i have which is two you have you have a couple more we're not going to touch on all of them but there is roughly five islands one of them does connect to the mainland but there is roughly five islands that you and a few of your friends can each take over and kind of have a competition to see who can develop the island the quickest which i think would be really cool it'd be a really interesting thing to do with your friends uh, if you have any like not like me so that's why this seed kind of made it into the video it was because it had that single player aspect where if you really wanted to you could just hang out by yourself you have some interesting biomes right off the bat but if you do have friends you can go ahead and play with them here too so it's kind of like the really ultimate survival island series seed if you ask me if you're weak and you want trees I gotta add that for, you know, disclaimer purposes. Now, coming in at seed number five, I kind of wanted to go back to the roots of the channel. It's a very basic seed, and it's nothing too exciting. Other than the fact that it has a village right off your spawn point. Now, that being said, you're like, well, that's, I guess, yeah, that's kind of going back to your roots. You got a kind of a cool cave, and then you notice that that there there is another village there there's two villages right off your spawn point you're like ooh, that makes more sense two villages would be back to the roots and then one thing i never thought i'd be happy about really flat terrain in between so it's going to be quite easy to build a base in between but then let's just say these two villages weren't enough you know they are kind of small well we want we want another smaller one so what we're gonna do is just head over this weird kind of i want to say mountain but it's more of a hill more of a valley hill you're gonna find an even smaller village so completely surrounding your spawn point you have three villages which means you can go to whatever one you want. Again, if you have friends, you can get all of them there, but it's a nice, flat, very easy starter seed for Minecraft. I think I know what the the title of this video is actually gonna be. I've never really done that before.
But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of the Top 5 Seed Series. If you guys are new to the channel, you can consider, consider hitting the subscribe button. Now, I am testing out a new microphone, which I think is picking up a little more background noise. So if you even noticed it in the video and it was you could tell now that I've pointed it out, you might be able to hear it here. I'll go quiet for a second. That's the only second you get because that... <laughs> <laughs> retention i gotta keep your retention uh even though it's the end of the video and like 0.5 of you are here uh go ahead leave me a comment in the description telling me if this mic is okay if you guys are okay with the background noise very expensive much more expensive than my other one so let me know if it if it's even an issue i'm working on a couple other things i'm rambling at this point it's fine i need to start doing like weekly updates or doing a podcast because that would be something cool anyway guys if you guys want to hit the subscribe button i'd appreciate it more than you can ever believe and if you guys want to hit the like button the youtube al algorithm actually likes that so go ahead hit the like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace